Tehran, a commander of Iran's hardline military group on Tuesday condemned the storming of the Saudi embassy in Tehran as an ugly, unjustifiable act, but the country's president said it should not distract from Saudi Arabia's execution of a dissident Shiite cleric. The commander, Brig. General Mohsen Kasmani of the Tehran unit of the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps, called the attack on the embassy, as well as one on the Saudi consulate in Mashhad. Iran's second-largest city, totally wrong. His statement, the most prominent so far by a representative of the hardline security forces, was the latest indication of the fallout from the street violence on Saturday that followed the execution of the cleric, Sheikh Nimid al nimid According to political analysts, the new criticisms signal that the hardliners might regret not having done more to keep the protests under control, and that they might have been taken aback by the vehemence of the international response. On Tuesday, Kuwait recalled its ambassador to Iran, becoming the latest country to side with Saudi Arabia in the widening diplomatic rift, which has put the United States in a bind and has threatened to set back the prospects for peace in Syria. Bahrain and Sudan cut diplomatic ties with Iran on Monday, and the United Arab Emirates downgraded relations with Iran, a major trading partner. President Hassan Rouhani, the moderate who had denounced the storming of the Saudi diplomatic buildings, tried on Tuesday to refocus attention on Sheikh Nima's execution. To cover up the crime of beheading the religious leader by the country, the Saudi government initiated a strange move and severed its political ties with the Islamic Republic of Iran, Mr. Rouhani said in a meeting with a Danish foreign minister, Christian Jensen, in Tehran. See the description.